Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh, Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Rekal Kodash. Rekal Kodash. Devil and our apostles and elders. And Shalom al Tada Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. So it's just me and the other brother, uh, me, Shamar, and the brother. Shemayim. And we just wanted to do a quick lesson real quick while I was on my, my break at work. And just go, you know, go in the scriptures through the spirit. You can um, start with the precept that you have. Con, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, yeah. and no man shall buy you. And and that it said bring you into Egypt again with ships, and we we're obviously uh we we know what that that meant because you know out of everywhere else out of any other like anything in history, well, this only happened coming to America where they brought slaves on the ships to America, all right. And, cause and, this, and this place is known as spiritually Sodom and Egypt as well. All right. Uh, and I had that precept. Uh, did you have a point you wanted to say? Yeah, yeah. Basically, you just you just covered it. You know how uh, America, uh, this captivity is. Uh, well, the reason why the Lord said Egypt again is because Egypt is synonymous with our captivity. You know. So if you you gotta have a spiritual uh, uh, eye to understand what he's saying, and you can't get to Egypt by way of ships. So this has to be talking about America, all right? And the so-called uh, the uh, a Negro tribe that was brought over here by way of ships, and also the Latinos and Native Indians came over here by way of ships. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I, uh, I had a quick precept too, packing it up. Come. Um, is Revelation is 11 and 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which is spiritually is which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified so that, uh, so that's how that's how you know that it's talking it's referencing um, in Deuteronomy 28 68 it's representing Babylon because it says it's spiritually called Sodom and Egypt and this place how is it spiritually Sodom and Egypt? All right, it's spiritually Egypt because we're still held in captivity yet to this very day. All right, you can look on the back of the dollar bill, you see the pyramid, you see uh, basically your your uh, your birth certificate, all these different things. You're basically a, sl you're a slave to Esau your whole life, man. We're still in captivity to this very day, and it's spiritually Sodom because all the sodomy and perverseness that um that Esau has going on in his in his society, man. You just had Pride Pride Week, all right, Pride Month, all right, last all last month, all right. And how do you, these sodomites? They they party bigger. These sodomites they they party bigger than um Jake's do for uh Black History Month, man. They don't do um, all the stuff they do for Jake's, but they'll do even more for these sodomites, man. Cause it's, and, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, so I, I was just saying, if, if I may add, um, yeah, uh. Also, um, this place of, uh, of America uh, is also spiritually called uh, Egypt because Egypt was synonymous with many different idols and many different uh, gods mm -hmm. also. And, uh, you know, they have the Queen of Heaven worship, which if you go into that, that's the worship of a woman, which that's, that explains why they have feminism. And, and uh, you can just look on a different level, all these different uh, uh, structures that they have are uh, built up or like they, they go back to esoteric uh, esoteric uh, history and then even even in every city of America they have palm readers all right even the, the holidays are satanic all right so you know this it, it, it would have to be America would have to be uh, spiritually called Sodom in Egypt all right like the brother was going into about the prior parades like this Sodom is heavy in America. Uh, that was the I wanted to found on that one. Con. Yo, you had another precept? Uh, con, con. Let me get it. This is, um, 
Second Thessalonians chapter two. And I'm going to start at uh, seven. I'm going to start at six. Okay. It says, and now you know what withhold it that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth work. So like for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Mm-hmm. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth yeah, no. and shall destroy. And that wicked, that wicked that is talking about being revealed is talking about Esau, because he is the wicked, all right? Like it says in Malachi, the first chapter, all right, he is the border of wickedness, man, all right? The wicked, and just like the, the precept of Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So we know who the wicked is talking about in the scripture, all right? And it says, and there shall that wicked be revealed, man, and now it's being known even even more so to the whole world that, that the wicked is Esau, all right? And it says, whom, whom the Lord shall consume with this, the spirit of his mouth, which is by the prophets, man. Because the Lord speaks through his prophets, the men that are set up to prophesy the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that's how Esau is being consumed. All right, because the word, um, the scriptures say that this word is a consuming fire. All right. It's, so, and his word, his, his word is compared to a sword that cuts you to your spirit. Cuts you, it goes past your flesh, it cuts you in the spirit. Because when you hear this word... It fucks up your whole day, all right? And you're going to constantly, it's going to be stuck in your head, what you heard. Yeah, uh, it says, I want to continue reading. Okay. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Mm-hmm. When the Lord comes, comes back, man, he's, he's bringing nothing but destruction to this place, man. All right, uh, he's coming with a, a, like a, a army, all right, a chariots, man, and he's gonna be consu- and he's gonna consume this place with fire, man. That's right, because this this place is wicked, man. All right, there's all right, this place, the Lord is gonna come back. All right, the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna come back and make this place an example of how not to live. Mm-hmm. All right, all these all these idols, idol worship. All right, uh, uh, men worshiping them themselves. All right, and uh, living wickedly. All right, uh, the Lord is going to come back and make this place an example. All right, when He comes and, and destroys this place from off the face of the earth. Yep. Yeah. Hi, the precept. Go ahead. Huh? This is Amos nine and eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's right. And the Lord's eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. All right. That the Lord, the scriptures say that uh, roughly paraphrasing that the Lord's eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Mm-hmm. So there's angels in the midst all the time. All right. And and, and all the deeds all right, of, the, of the people that, that are living in wickedness, the angels are documenting it and everybody's going to receive uh, uh, whatever they reap. Mm-hmm. All right. So two. Oh, you was gonna say something? I know you can keep going. Kind, kind. Yeah. Uh, so two thirds of our people are gonna receive, you know, uh, destruction. All right, for for reaping and and living in this uh, uh in in Babylon, man. All right, living in the way of these heathens. All right, worshiping dumb idols and not coming back to Yahweh by Shem All right, and, and when and when the Lord comes back, He's gonna bring judgment upon two thirds of our own people. You so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, which are the real Israelites. And also, he's going to bring judgment upon the, the wicked, which is Esau and the rest of these heathen nations. You know, so the and so the, and it's going to and the Lord is going to make America that example because America is Babylon the Great. It would have to be. So that's why the Lord He has His eyes on His sinful kingdom. And once the wickedness gets to on a, on the highest level, and these prophecies be be fulfilled, then that's when the Lord is going to come back and destroy this place. And and also He's going to. Uh, He's going to uh, bring salvation to his elect, or the remnant that was destined to be saved. So that was it on that one. Okay. Sa- uh, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. That's right. Saving I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, because two thirds of Israel, which is going to be the majority, all right, it, it's it, it, when this thing goes down, Jacob's trouble 
and the Lord starts bringing heavy judgment, it's going to look like the Lord is actually extincting the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians off the face of the earth. That's how that's how much people, that's how much Israelites are going to be killed in that day. All right, but the Lord is actually, through all the midst of that destruction, the Lord is actually going to preserve a small remnant of, of, of uh, Israelites to be saved. And the reason he's going to preserve a small remnant is because the, the mass majority of our people, they don't want it to be right, man. They want they, they enjoy, just like this is spiritually Egypt and spiritually Sodom, our people love being here just like when they left um, out of Egypt and went to the wilderness. What are people doing, man? They want to go back to Egypt, all right? They want to, they were missing the things that they had in, in captivity. Our, the, the, our people have that same mind frame today. They they love being here so much to where they don't want to leave, man. They don't they don't see no uh, they don't have any foresight as far as seeing a righteous kingdom wherein dwell of right uh, wherein dwell of righteousness with us ruling on top, man. They want us to continue to be on the bottom, and that's why the Lord is just gonna do away with not do away, but de destroy two thirds of our people on this side, man, because they don't they really don't deserve to make it. And that's why the Lord said, um, that's why the Lord got the curse on them, Isaiah 69, 6 and 9, all right, where it says that they have ears that they can't hear and eyes that they can't see. You don't want, you don't want uh, two thirds of our people to be healed, man, because they ain't right, man. They got to go. Yeah. And two thirds of our people, is they're, they're comfortable in, in the situation they're in, just like how they was, they was comfortable in uh, being in Egypt. You know, they were saying they would rather go back uh, to Egypt because they was more comfortable than, than uh, when the Lord brought them into the wilderness. All, right, all they had to do was follow the, the orders of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, but they didn't want to. All right, they they rather uh, uh, dwell and go back to Egypt where they was comfortable. All right, instead of receiving salvation, man. Yeah, they they literally rather be catching hell because that's what that's all they was doing in Egypt. You catch the hell outside of that. You what you can do your little folly here and there. But the majority of the time, they was catch, you, our people was catching nothing but hell. Uh, and our people are in that same mind frame. Just like you can say in today's time, all right, our people would rather have a fucking 9 to 5 and work your whole damn life, try to have a 401k and all that other bullshit. Instead of instead of following y'all, bashing y'all, shining, inheriting the kingdom, man. They'd rather stay uh, here and keep, keep aiming for these low-level low goals, man. Because anything that you can aspire to be in this society is low-level, all right? Quick precept. Mm -hmm. This is um, the book of Makai, chapter 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't our rest, man. All right? and Because it, it's polluted, man. It's, it's polluted from the air polluted. All right, the food is polluted. The woman is polluted. All right, these people's minds are polluted. All right, everything is polluted here, man, and it's gonna and it shall destroy you with the sword destruction because you live in this society, you're literally dying every day because you the chemicals you breathing, the things you putting in your body, all right, the hell you got to catch in this world, are your body's breaking down, walking on concrete, all right, everything you gotta deal with in this society, man, it literally destroys you day by day, and they try and yet people our people want to want to try to seek rest here, man. When this isn't our rest, man, you can't you can't get no good sleep here, man. Cause why? You gotta wake up from a, a fucking alarm clock when you gotta go to slavery the next day, man. You can't you can't you can't do. You, how does this your rest, man? You can't. Our people don't have nothing established here. You're not you're not like an Edomite family where you got riches and everything to pass down to your children, man. You ain't got none of that here, man. You got debt to pass to your kids, man. That's all you got here, man. And bear, and that's it. All right. And our people still want to try to seek rest here, man. Our people, they have, like I said, man, they got, they have a low level way of thinking, man. And that's why they hey. go. They think that this is, the, they think this is it, man. Like what we see now, this is going to be life forever. We got to, you got to make it as good as it can be. Uh, and like you said, how you said that's the spirit. You said that uh, these people have a low level way of thinking. And uh, when, before you, when you said that, I was already uh, thinking like in my mind, like two thirds of our people, they don't have a ruling class mentality. Yep. You know, they're they're still conquered by Esau mentally. You know, they're they're still in that slave mentality. Whereas if you're in this truth and the Lord is building you up, 
and purging you in this truth, the Lord is actually giving you a, more of a high, higher class mentality. All right, because this 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 knowledge is the highest level of knowledge in the universe. Mm -hmm. All right, in the uh, in the whole, and the Lord created Israel to be the judges of the earth. So by being in this truth, the Lord is building you up to, to have a, a ruling class mentality. That's right. Because yeah, our people are, are, the, are the best people, man. And the world was created for us, including these nations, man. So you have to have a ruling class mentality. Why would you want to be other under a nation that was created to serve you? That's backwards. Uh, but I had a precept, a precept in Romans. Uh, it's Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Uh, be be not conformed to this world because two thirds of Israel they're they're actually conformed to this world. You know they they're accepting this world that this is it. You know that's why they don't they don't believe that that the Lord is actually going to come back, and they don't believe that that the Lord is going to bring judgment upon the earth. You know. So uh, that's that two thirds of Israel is is conformed, man. All right, but being in the in this truth, all right, the Lord he he woke up a remnant, all right, to come back to the Most High, so the Lord can transform them, all right, because we grew up as slaves, man. All right, uh, before we came into the truth, all right, we uh, we was we was uh, carried away by these dumb idols, all right, we was uh, either in the, uh, the 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 pork chop eating pastor churches. All right, uh, uh, or or these different um, um, consciousness communities. All right, but the Lord woke us up to come into the true power, to come back to this true knowledge and the true understanding of the scriptures, so that uh, He can he, we can transform our mind, so we can put on uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the spirit of Yahweh Shai. All right, which is the spirit of truth. Um, hey, you want to add on to that? Yeah. It says, be, um, yeah, our people love being conformed to this world, man, trying trying to fit in, all right? Um, trim, like the scriptures talk about, um, why trimmest thou thy ways to seek love? All right, that's that's part of you conforming to this world, man, because our people, we don't fit, we're we're above these people, man. So for you to try to, to conform to this world, you you have to actually lower your vibration because these nations and all these other heathens, they're, they're below us. They have a low vibration. So you have to lower your vibration just to be fit in, so to speak, in this world, man. You have to be a real low level. All right, and it says, like, be be transformed by the renewing of your mind, because like the brother was saying, you, when you come into the truth, your whole mind, your whole mind frame changes, man, as far as your outlook on life, your outlook on yourself, all right? And that's why you have a ruling class mentality, because you have a, your whole, your mind, you renewed your mind, man. You know that we are the princes of the power, man. And the prince, what is the prince going to think like, man? A ruling class mentality, man. He ain't going to think low level, how to be equal to everyone else. No, nah, man, he's he thinking about how to how to rule, man. All right, how to have servants. How you supposed to have, how, he, knows, he knows the order of life, man. All right. And continuing on, it says that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we do that through um, through the scriptures, man. By being in the scriptures, that's and it, and walking walking in, um, in the spirit. That's how we prove that acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because everything that's written is, in the scriptures is true, and has and not one of the prophecies have failed. So we know. With the perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, man. Uh, I got a quick precept if he was done with that one. Yeah, kind. This is uh, Psalms chapter 2 and 10. It says, Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Yeah, be, be wise now, therefore, ye kings, man. Because we, we're supposed to be wise. We have, Don't we have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? And this is what's supposed to make us wise, man. All right. And it says, be instructed, ye judges of the earth, man, because we're, we're the judges, man. All right. Like it says um, in the scriptures, the spiritual man judges of all things, yet he is judged by no man. All right. Because we, why is the spiritual man not judged? Because he's, he's following the instructions of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, walking in the statutes and commandments. So what can you say about a spirit? That's, what can you say about that, man, that's doing that, man? All right. Just like any of the, the from the apostles and elders on down, man, you nobody can say nothing about them, man. Because what are they doing, man? They're doing righteous works, man. 
you try to point out you have men out there that try to point out things that they that we may do in the flesh yet in the spirit you can't point out anything that a brother does wrong all right all right uh when we continue okay it says serve the lord with fear and rejoice with trembling yeah we serve the lord with fear man because the beginning the beginning of the knowledge was and understanding is fear in the lord man all right and we rejoice at that man we're trembling because you it's a it's a uh it's a scary it's a scary thing to fall into the lord the hands of the lord man Par not paraphrasing the scriptures um you know exactly but this is a scary thing to come into this truth man because we know that any moment we can the spirit can be taken off of us just like it was taken away from saul that's what keeps us fearful man knowing that the lord can he could just take the spirit away from you if you chose to and it keeps you humble at the same time all right because you can't be proud because the lord could the lord could easily take the spirit off of you just as quick as he put the spirit on you to be in this truth and preach this word man Right. And knowing that is it's, it's a humbling thing, and it keeps us fearful, and makes us want to just be, um, keep doing the right thing, man, and not be high, think high minded of ourselves, man. To think That's to right. lowly of ourselves, just think that we're doing, we're thinking that we're doing, um, we're all in profitable service, doing what we're supposed to do at the end of the day. That's right. And uh, that that fear of the Lord is a, is is actually a healthy fear, mm -hmm. you know. We are, we are supposed to fear the Lord, and every day, all right, the Lord the Lord shows His judgment, all right. So you know, yeah, that keeps the fear on you, man. You know, and and brothers, we pray to Yah by Shemiah was shot that the Lord uh, keeps His Holy Spirit upon us, like the brother was saying, because the Lord can take the Spirit from us at at any time, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's why hey, we we are to fear the Lord, you know, because. A lot of people they come into the truth and they think that everything is all gravy, yeah. all right. But then as soon as they get tried and the fire gets put under them, all right, that's when they they ready to uh, to give out, man. Yeah. All right. And ultimately, it's because they don't they don't fear the Lord and they didn't have faith in the be in the beginning. Mm, that's right, Doc. Uh -huh. Um, I got a, a, another precept. Okay. Jake, and this was actually. Uh, huh? Jacob probably close out with that one. Yeah, this was going into how you were saying that nobody could talk about those men because uh, like the elders and the apostles are great millstone because they have righteous works. You know, uh, this is Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. Yeah, every tongue that rises up against us in judgment we're going to condemn, man. Cause they can't they they can't come against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's really what it is. It's not even it's not even us. It's about coming against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Anybody that comes to get, well, you see you see it in our videos, all right? How many different um, instances have we had where demons come up and try to bother us or gainsay the word, and they always lose? Cause it's the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that they coming against, man. Come on. Yeah, because this truth is not of, uh, of ours. All right, this is not our words that we are speaking. The, the words that we are speaking was was given to us by way of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, and all we do is come out of the scriptures, you know. All right, and uh, uh, I believe it's in the book of John, where it says that man cannot receive nothing, at least it comes from heaven. All right, so uh, we the words that we're speaking is directly from Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. This is not our words, and that's why. Uh, uh, people hate it, man. All right. Uh, as brothers, when we're not out there on the highways and hedges, all right, we're we're gentlemen. All right, people they they like us, but then they they hate us. They wanna they wanna uh, harm us when we bring out this truth. When we go out on the highways and hedges to bring out this truth, just to show you that it's a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. They're not coming up against us. They're actually coming up against Yahweh by Shmuel All right, through the men that he set up. I'm going to continue reading. It says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. And this truth is our heritage, man. People try to say it's a religion, but really this is our heritage, man. This is this this is what we are by, um, by the, um, you know, we were born being an Israelite, man. This is, this is just who we are, man. All right. 
and our righteousness is of is of the Lord, man. It's not it's not a, our own righteousness, man. It's what the, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. So we can't glorify in ourselves. We can only glorify Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man, for putting that righteous spirit on us. Done. Cause this whole gospel is is, is this, this whole truth is is glorifying and to exalt Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, through our testimonies, our personal testimonies of being in this truth and how the Most High got us out of situations. Our Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem and All right, uh, by us being out there on the highways and hedges and, and proclaiming this gospel, it's all for the glory and the uplifting of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and that's it. That's right. Because right, like the brother, kind like the brother was saying, you know, we're an unprofitable servants. The Lord don't need us. All right. The, the, the scriptures say that the Lord can raise up stones to, to prophesy, man. All right? So that just puts the fear on us that, hey, man, this is what we need to do because this is our reasonable service, man. All right? We're not, we, there's no room to be doing this just for uh, for pride, all right? To be puffed up, to be on high, all right? Just do it just because you want to have a name or you, you want to you, you wanna be in, uh, all right, in, um, you know, uh, be exalted, all right, there's no room for that, man, because the Lord could literally take it away from you as fast as he gave it to you, man. All right. So, yeah, that's basically the point I was making is that, you know, this truth is all about exalting you. How about Shimei was shy? All right. Because at the end of the day, all everybody in the world is, is going to be is going to know that name. All right. And they're going to know that the judgment, the great judgment that you have about Shimei was shy is brought upon the earth. All right. Okay. That was it. So with that, Lord willing, that lesson was edifying. And we want to give our praises again to Yahweh. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders. And Shalom, Tala, Akim, out there, preach his word.